So with slices, okay, and you will see that the number of slices can actually go exponentially high, right? Because uh, from a standards perspective, uh, you can go to two to the power 32 slices leased by the network. Any CSP theoretically can lease and dynamically govern two to the power 32 uh, slices. So you can have a lot of slices, right? Slice, slice for EMBB, slice for machine type communication, certain slice for enterprise, certain slice for MVNO, and you can have any slices with N offerings, right? So there is a must to have an orchestration framework. Now we realize why there's a need for orchestration framework because you will never be able to scale and to efficiently work on the lifecycle management of these slices, on these dynamic slices without an orchestration framework. And for that, there are new functional blocks came with 3GPP to define the function or that actually need, that you need to govern the, the, the slicing. So they came with CSMF, NSMF, NSSMF, and NFMF. CSMF communication service management function, that's doing the customer facing part. Okay, the life cycle management of the customer facing part. You, so you remember the communication service that we explained last slide. This is what, what the, the functional block that handles the life cycle management of, of the customer facing uh, services. NSMF network slice management function from the name that's the, the functional block that, that does or that handles the lifecycle management of the network slices that spans across multiple domain. NSSMF, from the name itself, network slice subnet management function, that's the node that is doing the lifecycle management of the network slice subnet, which runs either in the core or access or transport. And I, finally, we have the NFMF, NF management function, very, very similar to the EMS capability that, that used to do the F caps for the VNFs or PNFs. So these are the new functional blocks. What is interesting will come in, in the next two slides on actually how the vendors map these functional blocks into their existing solutions. Because most of the vendors, they had a framework for orchestration, right? And they saw these new things from 3GPP. So then what was interesting is how actually to position these nodes or these functional blocks into the existing solutions. So I will take a question and then I will talk about this one. Uh, okay, the question is, my understanding is that things like NSDs, CNFDs, VNFDs will map to NSSIs. So that, 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 that's an interesting question because I, I, I'm going to answer that in this slide. So it, it's actually a good uh, coincidence. So I will answer it now. So the question is actually this NSSI network slice subnet instance, does it map to, to network service descriptors on the, on the NFV domain or the CNFDs or any kind of descriptors in NFV? Actually, when, when this, uh, these blocks were, were, were you know, placed in the standards by 3GPP, they had to put uh, some sort of, of a framework on how these blocks integrate to the existing brownfield cloud deployment. So there is a very interesting you know, diagram, which I'm showing here. It's actually an attempt from 3GPP to show, to show the, the, the community on how these uh, nodes integrate to the existing, uh, for example, it's the NFV stack. So as you see here, the, the NSSMF, the one that is handling, let me just, the NSSMF, the one that is handling the lifecycle management of the slice subnet into a specific domain, it integrates with the NFVO. It integrates with the NFVO. So that's an implicit answer for the question that whatever network slice subnet instance here, it maps actually to a network service, a network service defined at the NFVO. And if, for example, if the slice subnet in the core is an SMF and UPF, then you will find a corresponding modeling for a network service in the NFVO that maps to SMF and UPF. So it's some sort of one-to-one -one and, and, and sometimes it's actually uh, uh, maybe uh, one, one to n in terms of BNS. So the, the, the architecture was suggesting that, that NSMF, because it's, a, it's, a, it's managing the slice in multiple domains, so integrate, it, it, it integrates to NSSMF in the core in the radio and it integrates with transport uh, as well. The NSSMF, as a, as a, we can call it a domain orchestrator, it, it can act as a northbound system to the NFVO. And then the NFMF, which is, as I said, as an EMS, it continues doing 
the normal functions integrating with, with the VNF and the PNF. So it was just a logical representation. But what is there in, the, in reality and the big picture, and that, that's something that's really uh, interesting, is actually how the, the, these nodes maps to, to, to the vendor solution and to the overall architecture. So what you see here, that actually CSMF from definition, it actually gets the, 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 the service order from, from, let's say, from the BSS, from digital channels, from actually something facing the customer. So the CSMF and SMF, what you see here on the right is actually where it maps in most of the vendor solution. So you find many vendors coming with, with the terms multi-domain orchestration, slicing manager, end-to-end -end service orchestration. Most probably the, the new logic of CSMF and SMF is embedded into these three terms, either multi-domain orchestration, slicing manager, end-to-end -end service orchestration. However, some vendors who have good pr presence and good existence in IT systems and in BSS, they can go and put the CSMF into the northbound layer in the, in the service order management or in the order management umbrella in layer uh, in general. So the CSMF and SMF is commonly positioned in any multi-domain orchestration or end-to-end -end service orchestration layer that any vendor provide or any CSP build. But what about the NSSMF? The NSSMF, which is slice subnet, and as per the standard, it's core on transport and access, most probably this solution is positioned in a domain orchestration solution by the vendor. So any vendor providing a domain orchestration for the core, for the transport, for the access, for whatever, most probably he will position the NSSMF in this one. And the NFMF, because it's not here, is commonly part of the EMS. And some vendors are, are, are gathering NSSMF and NFMF in, 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 uh, in one solution. So it's very interesting to see how this, this is positioned. I know that in your job, in your work, you will meet these solutions. But from, from a st standard perspective, CSMF, NSMF is a northbound system that control it, uh, integration with the customer facing systems. and uh, integration southbound to the multiple domains where the slice lives. And NSSMF, that handles the lifecycle management of the slice subnet in a specific domain. Uh, down here, you see there is a layer called the cloud orchestration, right? And it's a very little bit generic because it includes NFV orchestration and container management orchestration. And why I did that? Because that's the reality. There is really an uncertainty about this layer. And that's actually the starting point for the next slide because I'm going to show you what do we have in the container domain. I mean, the does the slice need or is it mandatory to live on containers? Yes or no? Do we need an NFVO in the picture? Yes or no? But at the end, we need a layer to do the cloud orchestration. Either it's NFVO, either it's directly like Kubernetes-based solution or whatever there in the market, but we need a solution to do the slicing from cloud perspective, from resources perspective. 